My God, would you just look at it? Just look at it. All that sparkle, all that bling. Wow. Hey y'all, Johnny Model here with another video. And today we're actually gonna do a Casio watch video. How long has it been since I did one of them? Uh, let me see, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. So today we're gonna talk about this particular watch I bought and um, this watch has pros and cons. But have you ever ran into a watch that has more cons than pros, but yet the pros outweigh the cons, even though the cons are very, very bad. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a bad watch. I'm just going to say it's, uh, it's a very different experience. So today we're going to talk about the Casio AQ800. This is a Anna Digital watch, part analog, part digital. It's got a lot of bling to it. See what I'm saying? Look at all that, bing, bing, bing. So anyway, this is the watch we're gonna discuss today. And uh, when I first bought this watch, I was a little bit disappointed because of the size. It was a very small watch. And I'm thinking, man, this thing's not much bigger than a F91W. But, you know, the rectangular case sort of gives it a little bit of volume, a little bit of size. Now, from my perspective, when I look at this watch, it, it seems small. But as you see it from a distance, it's not really a small watch. From your perspective, as you can see, it's, it's a normal size watch. Nobody's going to look at this and say, man, you got a pretty tiny watch. Sort of like your tiny car. Are you uh, trying not to compensate for anything? But anyway, what we're going to talk about is the pros and cons of the Casio AQ800. Um, it has more cons than pros, I'm going to admit. But uh, man, just, would you just look at it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's very vintage, very retro. It's. <sighs> I'm just going to have to get into a little bit of detail here and explain to you why I think it's a cool watch, but if you want to purchase one of these, you're going to have to make your own decision. Um, there's probably other, other videos out there, you know, reviewing this watch. And they may have some ideas, and I'm going to give you some ideas of my own. So uh, stick around, and let's see what happens here. Okay, here we go. The app. Look at that. Holy shit. Would you just look at it? Here we go, the Casio AQ800. This is a analog and digital watch. It's a very nice and uh, blingy watch. Very shiny, very nice. Um, it has a resin case. That is one of the cons. It has a stainless steel bracelet which will rip your hairs out, but I'm not gonna consider that a con because any stainless steel bracelet, you know, made by almost any company is going to you know, pull some hairs out now and then. Uh, the clasp, I'm gonna give that a pro. Very, very nice, adjustable, easy to adjust clasp. I've been wearing this watch for a couple weeks now and I really, really love it. What's nice is there's different versions available. You can get the Casio AQ 800. Here we go over to the laptop. There's the one I got, 40 bucks. What a good deal. I would say that's a bargain. The one with the black, 58 bucks. I, if you really, really, really want the black, go for it. But uh, I don't think it's worth the extra 20 bucks. We also got the Tiffany green, ooh, look at that. If you really gotta have a Tiffany green one, hey, more power to you, but uh, look at that price, you know what I'm saying? And if you really wanna go full retard, and I don't know what I just did here on the screen, I clicked on something I didn't want to, we're gonna go back, yeah, freaking windows, here we go. If you really wanna go full retard, there you go, cheaper than the Tiffany one. Oh yeah, you can get it in gold. 70 bucks, not too bad if you wanna sport a, 
you know, a vintage and very retro looking Casio AQ800 and a Digia. There you go, there you go. But uh, yeah, those are your options. So it's not like uh, there's only one out there. You can get the gold, you can get the white. You see that grid background? The black also has the grid background on it. Very nice, very nice. And the green, I don't see the grid background. It might be there, but the picture's not doing it justice. So anyway, what do we got with the Casio AQ800? Well, we have a resin case. We have a resin crystal, which would be, you know, cleaned up with poly watch. You scratch it up, that's a good deal. You can clean it up. If it was glass, you might be out. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, let me see here. We got, um, I'm not going to go through the functions, but it does have a alarm, a daily alarm, hourly chime. It has a dual time feature. It has a stopwatch and it, it will also show the date by, uh, you know, the bottom, uh, digital display, but any hoot, man, I'll tell you what, <laughs> With all the cons on this watch compared to the pros, I think all the bling and, you know, the look of it kind of outweighs that, is what I'm trying to say. You know, this watch here, it's, is it really worth 50 bucks, 40 bucks, 100 bucks? I don't think so, you know, unless it was stainless steel, sure, sure, but uh, being, you know, okay, 40 bucks, all right, maybe, maybe, but... Uh, you know what? There's one thing about this. You know, if you're walking down a dark alley and some stranger approaches you and he wants to rob you for everything you've got, unless you shoot that bastard dead, he's going to take what you got. If you're wearing any Casio watch like uh, F91 or any F-Series watch, uh, W217, a World Timer, maybe even an Edifice, or, you know, the enticer, they're probably not going to think twice. But if that burglar takes one look at this shiny, blingy, beautiful retro watch, they're going to stab you 50 times in the neck and take it from you. You know what? Even if the watch is bloodstained, it's stainless steel. It'll wash right off. So anyway, um, this kind of a watch, it is a hair nipper. Like I said, any uh, stainless steel watch, it's gonna nip hairs. I kind of like to wear it a little bit snug, but not tight. This way, if the watch is not flopping around, you know, if it flops around, every time it flops, it's gonna rip a hair out. But uh, if you wear it just a little snug, so it just so it don't move around, I got no problem with it. I rip more hairs out when I am uh, taking the watch off. Um, let's see, you undo the clasp and you stretch the band out. Yeah, you're gonna rip a few off, but not too bad, but wow. Man, would you just look at it? The Casio AQ800, man, it's a crazy watch. It's uh, up to you, man. If you want something cool like this, something retro, something vintage, you know, it might be worth the money. And if you want to go full retard, get the one you want. Get the one you want. Just don't go walking down some dark alley unless you put your hand in your pocket so they can't see it. All right, so like I said, it's uh, been a while since I did a video, especially a Casio watch video. I I do have a lot of Casio watches. Um, I, I need to really start making some videos because... You know, I got I got up some cool watches I want to share with you guys, if you care. If you don't, whatever. I don't monetize my channel. So, you shouldn't be seeing ads all over my shit because I don't monetize my channel. I don't care how many subscribers I got, likes or subscribes or whatever. That means nothing to me. Alright, this is just a side hobby and if I got time, I'll go ahead and take some time, make a video and... Put it out there. If you like it, great. If you don't, you know, move on. Go ahead and watch some Fortnite shit. But anyway, uh, I hope you all learned something today about the Casio AQ800. It's uh, 
Man, it took me a while to get used to this watch. When I first got it, I was very disappointed. I opened the box and I'm like, what? It's so small. It's tiny. What am I going to do? I'm going to send it back. I'm going to send it back. Nope. I put it on, you know, and yeah. All right. So I took it off and went back to wearing whatever I was wearing for a couple of days. It, it was a Casio. It's always a Casio. And then I forced myself to put this watch back on. I forced myself. I'm going to wear this watch for a week. And you know what? You know what impressed me the most? I have a lot of Casio watches. The Casio DBC32 calculator watch is the one watch that I have gotten like three comments on from strangers who said, hey, you know, I like your watch. And out of all my watches at that time, it was the DBC32 that I ever got comments on. I wore this watch for one week, five comments of people saying, hey, dude, my grandfather used to have a watch like that. That's pretty cool. And hey, where'd you get that watch? And that's a nice looking watch. And I'm gonna stab you in the neck 50 times and take your watch. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Johnny Mullet, uh, Casio watch video. I got another Casio watch video coming up here real soon. I'm gonna do a comparison video between the uh, Royale and Friends which would be the AE-1200 Casio Royale, the AE-1300 uh, Referee Timer, and the Knight Rider WS-1600. So I have all three of them watches. I had all three of them watches before Casio, the Mad Watch Collector, had them, but I didn't get a chance to get the video out before he did, and I have different opinions on his favorite choice between those three watches. So, hey, stick stick around i'm gonna make another casio watch here uh video here in a few days so uh talk to y'all later have a good night